you've been able to uh, uh, get to very accelerated res results pretty quickly. What would you say in terms of your experience with TWI? Let's do a stop, start, continue, mm -hmm. and then, uh, then uh, we'll move to the next section. Of the things you did with job breakdown and job instruction, what would you absolutely start doing now that you haven't done? What would you stop doing that you did and you don't ever want to do that again? And what for sure do you want to continue with TWI? Oh, <laughs> um, I think at first I didn't realize like how small the steps need to be broken down. So I'd start by making sure that we break it down small enough and start small enough. And we probably need to do some backward movements for that. Um, I think the team, not me, but the team feels like there's a lot of repetitiveness in it. Mm -hmm. And they don't, I say that that's the point, but they want to skip it. You're talking about the seven times? Yeah, yeah. That I show yeah, you yeah. and then you show me. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And and so getting more buy-in from staff on that. Um, and, and yeah, I just, I mean, as far as, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all our products with the job instruction format. Yeah. yeah. So before we close on th this part of it, you, you, you mentioned the, you had a TWI, a job breakdown, you had on one sheet the Kantha. I, I, it was something similar to this, I think. It was quite a smaller. Yeah, yeah. and I th was that maybe, it was a day and a half, two days of work content in that one? Mm -hmm. And it was on one page. Yes. And so now what we do is we realize that it's sort of as you peel the onion, as you said mm -hmm. earlier, we're going to have to peel it back and break that into pieces, and then those will break into pieces, and mm -hmm. and here we go. But we we've got to make sure that they see a uh, that they see a relevance and a a point and a purpose, and get something from it. Yeah. Well, this is so exciting. I I, I really appreciate you letting us be a part of it. You know, these are women. The Rohingya women have been so oppressed and and they've come through so much trauma and they have zero literacy. And yet they were able to, like I said, produce a, pro produce a sellable product within one to two months. And so that really challenged me to, to do the same with our work, with our, pro our normal product line. And so we just started with a couple smaller products and started training the staff. Another issue that we have is that we are employing managers. Some of the managers have come from our, the same backgrounds, or have come from our artisans, and that's our ideal model. We want to promote more of our artisans to be managers. And so um, it gives them a very clear way to teach and to train others and to produce the product and to do quality control. So we brought all our managers in for one week, I think, and they spent they spent that time just learning like three different products. So that really, I, I love seeing that as a way that we can train our managers better, support mm -hmm. our managers better. Mm -hmm. We're not just saying like, hey, teach them this, and they they go out and try to figure out how to do it. They yeah. they have a system to follow. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna continue to do that with all our products, and I'm looking forward to going back with more skills in mm -hmm. August.